terrifying. Why can't I move? Oh, hello. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Uh. I'm never washing this face ever again. Man, are you, uh, man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, no. You should probably wash your face. I mean, you just, like, face planted in the, into the dirt, like, two times. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Uh, because of the mouse hole. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal fills you with determination. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Okay. Eh, yeah, we still have a little bit more time. Hey, Sans, what's up? Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold, but I mean, to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yes, please. What the? Sans, why is this red? You spilled the ketchup on it again, didn't you? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Wait, look at the left eye. Wait, what left eye? Use the box. Uh, it's still the stick. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Nope, not me. Oh, <laughs> what the heck, the snow cone guy? I relocated my store, but still there are no customers here. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. I'll take a ice cream, why not? Super, here you go. The card is in the box. Right. Yay, ice cream. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh, I get it, because this is his shop, and he wrote over it with his ice cream <laughs> flavors. Ah, yeah, I got it. Alright, where are we going? Let's go down here, see what's up. Another echo flower. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Mm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. I kind of want to know what it was. Oh, crap. <gasps> the Mold Smalls! I thought we were done with them. Oh, we can just show mercy to them immediately. Is this important? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You got the ballet shoes. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very, uh, murdery. What? But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you were, or I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana! Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. Oh, uh, I actually didn't. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. 
feel like I should probably switch my clothing. Now I'm just the kid in ballet shoes. I don't know why, I just kind of assumed that could work. But it did. This is a really pretty area. I like this. You hear a passing conversation! Don't say that, come on. I promise I won't laugh. Hmm, what's up here? The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. Um... Should I be worried about that, or like... Uh, this one's chasing me. Am I moving anymore? No, I'm not. Uh, what are you? And why is it so coy? Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion Sandy. <laughs> what is happening? You, uh, you, you, you good, Onion? Onion? Onion San? You're visiting a waterfall, huh? It's great, it's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I, uh, have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, that's okay. It, it beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Oh. I mean, you want me to chill out with you for a bit? Like, I'll, uh... <laughs> and the aquarium's full! Uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I, uh... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? I have a feeling this is going to get rough in a second. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Um, yeah, that, that, that happened. Okay. Onion Sand. I hope to see that character again. That was, that was... Oh, God. No, oh, that was cute. You smile. He has to see his smile, too. It's quieter in the corner. Hmm. Oh, what the... Yes! Do karaoke! Oh, whoa. Northern room hides a great treasure. Well, of course, I'm gonna check that out. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Wait, what? Mm. First eight are fine. Okay. Okay, every time I hit Z it makes a sound. I have 
no idea what I'm doing. Uh, any suggestions? Like, I can see the thing on the wall when I'm hitting the buttons, but anytime I hit something that isn't Z, it doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, well, I'm dumb. Okay. Is this supposed to be? I feel like this is supposed to be doing something. I just kind of chill out here while I wait for the chat to catch up. Yeah, I feel like I was supposed to be doing something with that, and uh, nothing was happening. Either that or, like, it's a really easy solution, and I'm just dumb. You gotta figure out the code. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what it could even be. It's probably something, like, really simple. Apparently it's... Okay. According to my chat, it's C up. Right here. Oh, wait, no. C up. Right. C. No, what am I doing? C up. Right. Hey, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Lewis. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Um, yeah, why not? You're carrying too many... What? Wait, what? But annoying dog, what? Just lost the artifact. <laughs> God dang it. <sighs> that just happened. So I think I just got trolled by the chat. <laughs> Power has no counter. Indeed, a human soul or a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. Oh, that's sad. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one explanation or er, exception: the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but that has never happened. And now it never will. What's, what do you mean, now it never will? Oh, because of the cutoff. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. This is an ominous, ominous, ominous room. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure, why not? Wait, hang on, if I take an umbrella, can I just, can I give the statue an umbrella? Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Okay. 
Oh, it's still there? What? Well, that was cute. I'm assuming that's all it ha I had to do. I could be totally wrong. Now I kind of wish I had an umbrella. Oh, well. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? Aw. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Let's go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was just going to beat me up. Yeah, I guess. Feels bad, man. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. Every kid's wildest dream. Um, well, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, hello. This is new. Wow, that background. Take an umbrella. Yo, the sledge or the sledge is way too steep. Yo, want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Uh, how do I get rid of the umbrella? Oh. Yo! You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> he always falls in his face. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked us suddenly and without mercy. A serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. In the end, it could be har it could hardly be called war. United the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. All right, well we're healed up, so I feel like something's coming. Oh, not again. This is much easier than the last one. <sighs> sort of. Oh god, it's getting faster. No, oh, no. Crap. This is getting too quick for me. Too fast, too quick. Finally. 
Please don't tell me it's a dead end. Are we good? Or like... What? Mm, I may have screwed up just a little bit. Or that could happen. Suddenly instant game over.